Guys. Guys. John Processor was right. The Pixel 4a is coming. I don't know what to think. I'm I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited for this phone. August 3rd is the date that John Processor predicted. Max Weinberg didn't predict this. I don't have to worry about the OnePlus Nord anymore. So sorry, Carl PayPi. I am just waiting for the Pixel 4a. I do have a lot of questions though. And we're gonna get into that quickly. If you guys don't know, I am in the middle of a move. So this is not gonna be a long stream today. We are gonna dedicate this particular stream or pre-recorded stream for the Pixel 4a. We're gonna get into it. Right now it's uh, July 30th, 6.14 PM. So I don't know what news could change by the time you see this tomorrow at 2 PM. So I apologize if something changes within that time, but like I can't control it. I would love to do this live, but you guys know I am moving. I'm just trying to get my whole life situated before I move on Saturday. And then on Monday, we're gonna be back live. So back here, 2 p.m. live, I got a chance to see some of uh, the, the chat replay. So I wanna thank everybody who was on the pre-recorded uh, premiere stream yesterday. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, I think Brian, um, no, I know Brian put a super chat in there. So Brian, thank you so much for the support, man. But um, okay, let's get into the Pixel 4a. I don't know where to begin. I just ended up pulling any article I could find. So let me go ahead and share that. This article from The Verge says, Google teases August 3rd launch for the long awaited Pixel 4a. It's almost here for real this time. And so there was this whole like, um, whatever puzzle thing to get this puzzle to work. You need to, uh, get the colors, right? Blue, red, yellow. So blue, red, yellow. And then I think it's, what is it now? Um, blue, green, and red blue, green, red. So they're not telling you what the phone is called. They're just saying the Google phone, but the Google just what you've been waiting for phone, which I'm assuming is the Pixel 4a. Again, I have a lot of questions when it comes to this, but we're gonna talk about this in a second. It says here, you'll notice some references to photography in all that lorem ipsum text, uh, like low lightena, uh, bocus, and megapixelum. Um, the camera is always a strong suit of Google's phones and the Pixel 4a should carry that forward at a price much lower than the standard Pixel 4. That magic price is rumored to be 349, which would undercut Apple's iPhone SE. Yes, awesome, great. So according to previous leaks, the phone will have a 5.8 inch OLED display be powered by Qualcomm 730 chipset. Other expected specs are six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, and a 12 megapixel camera that should produce results very similar to the flagship Pixel 4. So right, right off the top here, that's not the words I wanna, I'm just, <sighs> Jerome, get it together. 64 gigs of storage is the one let down for me. I was hoping to see $350 with 128 gigs of internal storage, but we still don't know for sure. But the more I read into it, the more I'm assuming that this is going to be a, you know, a budget phone, a cheaper phone, whatever. So they're probably going to put 64 gigs of internal storage for 350. My hope then is that the 128 gig version will only be $50 more. Google don't, don't, I want to swear so bad, but I'm trying not to Google. Don't mess this up. Put 128 gigs of internal storage on the pixel, uh, 4a for 399. That's all I ask. I'm wondering what colors the phone, um, we're going to see, is it just going to be the black and blue one? Are those the two colors? I'll get the blue one for sure. I, I always want different colors. I'll get the blue one. I have my orange pixel. Where's my orange pixel four? It's somewhere here. See, this is why I need my own apartment because I've been living in this bedroom and everything is just everywhere. If I turn this camera, you would be shocked at all the dead bodies. It's very messy in here. Okay. Um, 
So this is, yeah, this was just Google doing their thing and they're like joining in on the party and like, ah, oh, look at us being Mimi and you know, like we can be fun and whatever. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to go through these articles. This is going to be a very short stream, guys. I'm sorry. I just, I have so much going on and like, I know I just don't have the time to like, yeah. The 4A will reportedly deviate from the bezel heavy design of Google's Pixel 4. Based on leaked images, the Pixel 4A may be Google's first phone to adopt a hole punch camera, which will be aligned in the upper left corner of the screen. I don't think this is anything new for us. We've seen a lot of these uh, leaks already come out. Okay, here's a picture. This is the one that we've been seeing for a while. What, I, what, I, what I'm excited about is almost everything on this Pixel 4A. It has I believe a really nice design. Yes, I don't care for the hole punch. I've said this many times. I would rather have a pop-up camera, but nobody's really doing it anymore. Also, I don't have my pop filter here. So if the audio gets off, I apologize. My pop filter is just being very annoying today and I, I don't have time for it. But I like that the, the bezels here are quite symmetrical. They're not asymmetrical like my Pixel 4. Um, it is a more display full display design the rear fingerprint reader is here which is like one of my best fingerprint readers or one of the best fingerprint readers around the fact that it's a rear fingerprint reader is also a plus one of my favorite things on the pixel 3 that they took away from the pixel 4 which is very annoying the thing i love about this fingerprint reader as well is the fact that can you can use it to swipe swipe down right like this is not a pixel 3 obviously but you know what i'm saying you put your finger here where the fingerprint reader is you can use it to swipe down to see notifications and swipe up to to take them away i i wish they added more stuff to that as well but whatever um headphone jack on the top uh i would rather that the headphone jack be at the bottom that's just for me, I prefer it that way. I think that's better when you put your uh, phone in your pocket, but it has a headphone jack. I'm probably not going to use it anyway because I have AirPods Pros, uh, so I, I use wireless earbuds anyway. It'll probably have a funky color. Well, blue. I, I wonder what this is going to be. Did they say what this color was? The power button, if the blue one was out? I I I did no research lately. I just, I saw it. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. Oh, and, and that's right. So however, there might be a 5G variant in the works as well. I don't know if they're going to talk about the variant, the 5G variant on August 3rd. Uh, the, the reports are that there might be a Pixel 4a 5G that will have a bigger display, a bigger finger or a bigger, a bigger display, a bigger battery. Um, all the same stuff, though, still a fingerprint reader or whatever, but there also might be an additional camera. Uh, lens in the back, maybe a telephoto, maybe a wide angle. I don't know. Um, and it will have a uh, Snapdragon 765G processor or 765 processor. I don't know about a G. Maybe that's what they're going to do. Maybe the Pixel 4 A 5G will have the Snapdragon 765 chipset and then the Pixel 5 will have the 765G, which I guess won't be the biggest change in terms of performance, but it's still something to differentiate. Um, and yeah, then it'll have 5G at that point. So if that comes out at the same time as the Pixel 4a, I would rather buy the uh, 765 uh, variant, the Pixel 4a 5G, if that actually becomes a thing. Uh, only for the pure fact that I want a better processor. That's, that's the only reason I would really want that. Unless it has that second camera. But well, then I'd want that too. Elsewhere, the Pixel 4a is expected to get a bump to six gigs of RAM up from four gigs in the 3a while keeping the same 64 gigs uh, of internal storage with a new 128 gig option that will likely cost $100 extra. I really hope it won't be $100 extra because that you'll hear me. You'll hear me bitch about that for sure. Um, I will complain about that if they decide to hundred dollars extra is just not i mean even 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 apple isn't doing that but apple's uh, iphone se at 128 gigs is 450. so maybe google will do the same and price it the same way which i just i wish i hope they don't do it if they do do that then i'll probably buy the 64 gig version if they do 128 gigs at 399 i'll probably buy the 128 gig version maybe um, the camera is what makes 
Pixel Phone Special, and we expect no different from the 4A. However, the hardware is likely to be similar to that of prior phones. Google used a 12.2 megapixel lens on all of its phones, so you can expect it to appear on the 4A as well. Furthermore, the leaks above suggest the 4A will be a single camera phone. Yeah, I, I think we all know this. Leaving the dual camera array as an exclusive feature on the 4, it also reportedly won't have Google's homegrown visual core or the, new, the newer neural core on board. So uh, as far as features, a slim top bezel, a rear fingerprint sensor, um, it's not going to have Google's motion sense, you know, solely. Uh, that made the asymmetrical bezels anyway on the Pixel 4, which I didn't care for. It says here, it might not have the Pixel 4's mind-blowing astrophotography mode either. I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't use it much. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have it. Like, more tech is better anyway. Um, but I bet you somebody could figure that out. I, I feel like it's just a software tweak, right? So I'm sure it's something that could be added anyway. Um Newer camera features such as dual exposure controls, live HDR plus might not be making their way to the 4A either. Google, Google has yet to deliver them to older phones due to the features reliance on low level capabilities in the hardware. The 4A will likely get the new Google Assistant, which brings app level interaction and faster response times. It also might get the excellent new recorder app that automatically transcribes speech for searchable audio files searchable audio files did they did they not put the the new recorder app on older pixels i don't even know did they did they not put the recorder app on the 3a or on the pixel 3 3xl um of course it'll receive guaranteed three years of android security updates and two years of os updates as well as feature drops throughout the year price and release so uh 399 is what this site is saying we'll know the full story on august 3rd 2020 that'll be when this round cornered google pixel smartphone will be released more than likely by the company in a virtual event actually are they are they actually going to release it for purchase or are they just going to announce it that's a good question I'm hoping, I mean, obviously we would just, we all want to just have the phone be available for pre-order or for order. Maybe they have it ready to uh, stock or maybe they have it in stock and ready to ship. Google also inadvertently revealed a few details about the future of the Google the Google Pixel lines cameras in the latest Google camera app. The most recent update references motion blur, audio zoom, and a note about flash intensity. This next Pixel phone will also quite likely make a big deal about the ease with which videos captured by the phone can be shared with a short list of key apps. That kind of scares me in a way because I, I understand like they want to show off all these new features or whatever, but it makes me think that these features are going to overshadow or maybe they are overtaking what uh, hardware might be lacking on the next Google Pixel 5. Hopefully not. Hopefully the Google Pixel 5 will have better optics to at least differentiate itself from the Pixel 4a. I don't know. The Google Pixel 4a, August 3rd, Snapdragon 730 chipset, 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage at $350, maybe 128 gigs of internal storage at $399, or 64 gigs at $399, 128 gigs at four, four ninety nine, four forty nine. dollars That we don't know as far as pricing. Hopefully, again, my dream is... Uh, 128 gigs at 350, but I'm assuming 64 gigs at 350. A bigger display, a headphone jack on the top, even though I wish it was at the bottom, a rear fingerprint reader, which is great, uh, an excellent camera, similar to probably what the Pixel 4 is going to be, vanilla Android, three years of updates, a cheap price, and a nice looking phone. I think the phone looks... For the price and what it is, I think it's kind of a minimalist, uh, a minimalist's phone at a at a budget price, and I'm looking forward to it. That's all I got for you guys. That's really all I got. I need to have everything packed into the storage unit or the storage box tomorrow. So like I'm currently in this bedroom trying to put everything away. I got to put these guys away. Guys, you you guys are, oh, it's gonna be so great when I move to the new place because. 
I'll have all my stuff again. It'll probably take me a week or two to unbox everything, but I'll have everything. And maybe I'll start making like my Saturday vlogs again. That was something I used to do where I would have a vlog just on every Saturday or Sunday or whatever day it was. And just like give you an update on my life and what else is going on and maybe record it with different phones. And I think that would be fun, right? Maybe Monday we will be back on track. Live stream, 2 p.m. Central for an hour minimum. We'll talk tech, we'll converse in chat. I, I hope you guys heard me out uh, on yesterday's stream that I missed having you guys there. You guys are like my crew. We're like, you know, a family and not having you guys there, it felt lonely. It feels lonely right now. All I have are these guys behind me to talk to, right guys? Yeah, so they agree. They miss you guys too. I don't really have much else to say because I think we've known a lot of this for a while. I think the only question is uh, the Pixel 4a 5G, if that's going to be announced on August 3rd. I don't know if that's still a rumor or if it's really something that's happening, but if that comes out as well, well, I'll have a, I'll have a decision to make uh, either at that point or maybe I'll buy both and then return one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I hope everyone has a good weekend. If you guys didn't have a chance, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, I don't know what you're waiting for. I am the best YouTuber in the entire universe. There is no better YouTuber than me. And I'm not just talking tech. I'm talking everything. Like I am just the ultimate YouTuber. Why I have like three subscribers, I don't know, but that's not my fault. That's everyone else's fault. <laughs> Come back Monday live 2 PM central here this channel. Uh, we'll talk about everything and it'll be nice to see everyone again. I feel like it's like I've been gone, right? Like, I don't know. I miss you guys. All right. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.